And one of these things stands out, especially given our conversation this morning about frothing up of markets and uh, big uh, rallies in uh, assets and companies that don't have the best track record of fundamentals beyond meat. Certainly fits that description with a 60% pop off of roughly about $7.50 going into earnings. Renita Young joins us to look at the numbers in some more detail here. All right, Renita, uh, what happened? Well, listen, you and our last guest talked about how FOMO is a powerful force, and I guess <laughs> that's just the theme of today because Beyond Meat shares soaring after revenue beat, really soaring on a short squeeze after revenue beat expectations. And the company said that it would make some strategic cuts and raise some of the costs of some of its products. Now, let's take a look at the numbers first before I get to those cuts. Revenue actually fell almost 8% year over year to $73.7 million. I know, but they still beat estimates when it comes to the revenue number. Total volumes, however, were up 8% to $17.4 million. That was boosted primarily by international growth because international retail grew almost 23%, whereas U.S. retail fell nearly 7%. And margins are all in the negative triple digits right now. But if we look ahead to the first quarter, the company is expecting revenue of about $75 million at the high end, and that's lower than the consensus estimate of about $86 million. Now let's talk about demand because demand for alternative meat has fallen over the past few years, and it shows in Beyond Meat's recent chart. I mean, Beyond's shares had fallen around 60% over the past 12 months through yesterday's close, and it's far from its 2019 highs of just under $240 a share, and that's why this consistent decline is causing the company to say, we've got to do something to stem the bleeding. So, the company is raising the cost of some of its products, and they're making some cuts to some other products to be able to focus in on their consumer even better. And we heard last week that Beyond Meat was premiering a new product line that they say is healthier as well. They've been criticized highly about the products being chock full of chemicals and not being healthy. They've been pushing back against that lately. And so the company did not, however, talk about any plans for layoffs during its earnings call. However, back in November, the company did announce that they would cut about 19% of staff at the time. Mm, okay, so some of that, I guess, market likes, but we kind of already knew. So the idea here, I guess, with revenues declining is that they've got a little, uh, you know, secret sauce coming from some new products. I mean, it's, it, it, am, I, am I hearing that right? That, uh, you know, I get that some of this is like cost changes and support mm -hmm. with layoffs and stuff and cleaning up the balance sheet, which is good. As far as like the product goes, I mean, they still have declining sales. So it seems like there's a lot of hope. Whatever they're bringing next down the pike is going to be a big seller. It is a lot of hope, which is why they decided to announce it a week before earnings. <laughs> and they ginned up a lot of excitement about it last week. I mean, investors kind of took that news with a grain of salt, though, obviously because of how slow and slow demand has been for alternative meat projects, products. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to see, you know, when new markets, when new products come out on the market, it like this, there tends to possibly be some sort of excitement, right? But I think the excitement in the shares today is more of a short squeeze than it is about, you know, the overall situation mm. of Beyond Meat. Yeah, that's true. All right. So a lot of people bent against this and it didn't work out. Yeah. All right. Uh, sounds like that is the uh, tone of the market right now. Be careful shorting stuff when it's turning into FOMO melt up days again mm -hmm. gonna get ripped and uh beyond meat bears learning that the hard way all right uh so i guess they get another shot here with the market after being a long-term underperformer thanks we need